Let me not talk too much. But must kid you. Watu wangu wa guvu, karibu ni sana. Oh my god, guys, nimekuja hapa kuongea about Nyayo House. Yaani kuchukua passport ni kama kwenda US. Kuchukua passport yaani sijui imekuwa ni nini. For sure, imagine mtu anakaa one year. Whole one year mtu aria prai passport na bado mpaka saa hizi hajapata passport yake like mtu kama hana pesa za kuhongana mkenya mwenye hana kitu wakenya wenye wanaenda Saudi Arabia wakenya wenye wana travel kutafuta makazi na huku Arabuni koziani Kenya hata kukula ni shida kupata passport ya ku travel passport yenye inafaa kukuwa mtu alipie 400 500 4500 na hiyo inaishia hapo yani inakuwa watu wanaripa more than 50k kupata passport for sure i don't know where we are going like e government ya ruto for now i have never talked about this government because mimi spend siasa mimi ni mtu mmoja spend siasa hata kidogo but this is so so uh, sad kuna like mtu anaenda kuchukua passport ukweli government wamesema vizuri kuwa passport ukitaka kuchukua passport ukiwa na 4500 uko na passport but unapata kuwa mtu akienda pale akihongana ndio tu anapata passport kama una pesa ya kuhongana wanasema kuwa machini zimeharibika i have a lot of people wenye wanataka ku travel but hawana hiyo pesa ya kuongana imagine mtu ana mdu, mwenye anatafuta pesa ya, ya kuchukua passport anatafuta more than one ya kupata hiyo 4k 500 alafu afike pare na hizo pesa za kuchukua passport at least ndio atafute kazi huku arabuni aweze kulisha familia yake but akienda pale anaitishwa that k that k 50k at ndio atolewe passport na kama si hivyo mtu anachapa mwaka mzima for sure i don't know where we are going like kizure kidiki alisema hiyo hiyo ni ya nyao house inafaa kukiriniwa yote but where where mpaka wareo yani watu wanaenda wanaenda nyao house watu wanaenda kuria hapo let me tell you it's so sad like imagine mtu anatoka na huko anataka kwenda kuni new passport yake lakini unapata mtu akipeleka passport yake ndio at least aenda ya ni new anaenda anaka one year akigoja ku renew passport i don't know where we are heading to yani kenya yetu hakuna ofisi ya gavo unaweza ingia usaidie kama huna bribe kila kitu good conduct ni bribe ukitaka birth certificate ni bribe yani kila kitu kenya ni bribe hizi ofisi zote za government for sure yani sometimes kenya ni yetu and i really, really love our country Kenya but sometimes yani huwa na feel na feel tu nimefinyilika our president please do something do something we are really really suffering corruption yani na ndio maskini atazidi kuwa maskini yani mtu kama hana kazi ya gava mtu anakuwa maskini kabisa cuz mtu mwenye na kazi ya gava kila kila ofisi ukienda hospitali za gava ni ni upate dawa lazima u bribe lazima upeane pesa i don't know i don't know why why this is happening bora watu wamekuwa wanyama bora watu hawana huruma na watu wengine for sure na ndio unaona Kenya mashida zimekuwa mengi watu wanagojeka people are dying accidents zinafanyika Yaani kuzu watu wamejaa unyama ndani yao. Yaani mtu haezi saidika bila pesa. Yaani watu wanalia nyao house mtu analia pachozi. Amegoja passport yake mwaka mzima. Anataka at least a travel juu ya ile shida amepata Kenya. But haezi saidika bila hizo pesa za pesa za ku bribe. It's really really sad. May our president do something because hata kizure kidiki vya alisema hivyo hakuna kitu ilifanyiwa. It's really really sad. Yaani unapata ati mtu akitoa 50k anapata passport na 3 days. Sasa maskini, maskini na ndio maskini anazidi kukua maskini. Government ya hasura. Ruto ari promise, ari promise kuwa atakuwa there for watu wenye wana hasu. but watu wenye sasa wako kwa serikali ndio tu anafaidika. 
cuz maskini maskini tu akienda pale hata kama ni kuchukua hiyo good conduct aende akatafute kazi hazi pata at mtu good conduct good conduct tulikuwa tunalipia sijui kama ni dhao sasa hizi mtu anaenda unalipa hiyo dhao ndio unalipa unalipa oh, eh, 10k juu ndio upate good conduct for sure it's really really sad it's really really sad Mungu tu Mungu tu atusaidie umaskini wa Kenya cuz i see those people who are in government they don't care about people of Kenya for sure and for me i always feel sad unajua like let me, let me tell you guys na tani niongee ukweli like mimi mimi sija travel huko arabuni mimi nilikuwa na kazi yangu nilikuwa na chapa kazi tu vizuri Kenya But let me tell you guys, venye tulichagua Kidero, I'm talking about Kidero, venye tulimchagua governor wa Nairobi. Kidero nakumbukanga vizuri sana. Alikujanga gara. Akatusalimia vizuri na mkono. Anakuja anasalimia kila mtu na mkono, akituambia tumchague. Mimi nikaenda nikapiga kura yangu na nikachagua Kidero. But let me tell you guys Vyenye tu Kidelo aliingia hivi akasema na Robi watu wasafishwe wote. Wenye walikuwa hokas na mimi alikuja alinisalimia nikiwa hoka Nairobi. Akasema kuwa watu wakuja wa wa wafagiriwe wote au hokas wote walikuwa huko na hakuna mahali tulipewa kwa kwenda kufanyia kazi. Tulifagiliwa wote acheni niwaambie tulipigwa three months kufukuzwa na Robi kama umbwa. Yaani ulikuwa tu unaenda unaekelea na kumbuka kuna watu mpaka wali walichomwa visu. I do remember that time. Na those city councils people wa Kidero. Cuz yaani maskini maskini hana kwake. Haizi fanya maskini afanye kazi. Mimi hata nilikuwa na juuliza si hata hao wangepewa tu at least wakuwa na ripia. Wanalipia wapewe like oh, kwa siku wanalipia bia. Tunalipia bia but where? Yaani nikukuja kufukuzwa kama ubwa na hakuna kitu kunafanyiwa. Atutuseme that place kuna kuna kitu itafanyiwa. Hakuna. Sasa maskini na ndio unaona mpaka kumekuwa na wezi wengi sana Kenya. Yaani corruption imeenda juu, uharifu umeenda juu, hakuna peace kila wakati watu ni kuwana cuz watu wako na depression. Niambie kama umeenda kwa hiyo ofisi unatafuta kazi nje, umeenda kwa hiyo ofisi ya gava, umeenda kuchukua passport kama hiyo at least tutafutia watoto, unapata ati unaitishwa that key. Na kama si hivyo machini zimeharibika. Niambie that key. Bia hata ile time yote nilikuwa nafanya kazi. Si kuishika hiyo that key na mkono hivi zikiwa pamoja. Sasa niambie maskini msichana msichana anatafuta passport akuja wa Arabuni. But haezi haezi hata kuja. Yaani ni kama kumewekwa kikwazo. Maskini aezidi kukua maskini. Sometimes acha nilisiongee sana because yaani nime I feel a lot of pain. Kuna watu wengi wananikujia like wananiambia what can I do? Lucy nifanye nini? What can I do? Ndio at least nipate passport. Na mimi sasa nitamwambia nini? Namwambia watu wanahongana. That's what people are doing. Cuz huwezi pata, huwezi pata passport bila kuhongana. Lazima utoe pesa. La si hivyo. Utakaa miaka. You can stay even 10 years without getting passport in Kenya it's really really sad corruption corruption yani hiyo nyayo house hiyo nyayo house yani kutoka kwa barabara tu ukiingia hivi ofisa wanakuanga wamekukondorea macho hivi utoe pesa na nakwambia kuna watu wengi sana wametoa pesa na mpaka wa leo wame spend 5 months 6 months na wajaipa hizo passport na walitoa pesa ya kuhongana So it's really really sad. Au watu wanafaa wote wafutwe kazi na kuajiliwe watu wengine wapya. Na like that place, hiyo place hata wana, wanafaa kukuwa like uwa wanabadilishwa si wakae tu hapo. Mm. For sure. Na si huko tu, si jao house tu, but I'm here for jao house. Uko watu wanaendaga kuchukua passport, but Kenya yetu. Ofisi zote za government 
sijui ni ofisi gani unaweza enda unaweza ingia hivi usaidiwe bila bribe labda upata netu na mtu wa Mungu and it's really really sad i always feel bad to see where we call hope where we can be helped ukienda kupata mtu yani unafikiria ni sister yako anafaa kwa pale akusaidie uko mkojoa but you have to, you have to you have to pay for you to be treated na wewe mtu analipwa na serikali we are paid tax kila siku tunalipa tax na ndio naona unga iko juu 200 why cuz tunalipa tax wewe mtu analipwa na serikali or people who are doing businesses in Nairobi they are paid for the licenses eh? kila 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 mahali serikali inachukua pesa na hongo juu for sure i don't know i don't know where we are headed i i pity i pity those people, poor people i feel i feel very very bad cuz hata mimi sikiakuwa hapa i'm not supposed to be here working as a house guard in a foreign in a foreign country been abused in here cuz kazi yangu iliharibiwa nilikuwa nafanya kazi at least nilikuwa nakula na nakunywa but those people wakakuja wakaniharibia kazi yangu for sure even i remember i said i will never vote why because ndavotia mtu mnapatia cheo akienda huko anawasahau mtu mwenye alikuja akiwasalimia na mkono akiwaambia upatie kula anaenda na wasahau bali uliko unapata uka lebi 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 don't talk too much but maskini sije maskini kenya Mungu tu. <sighs>